hello friends welcome to my channel this is Channon. in this video i will show you in mvc how to insert records into an sql server database using web api and here we got the final output notice we have added the create new action link let's click that one create new The create EMP, let's add the employee details, new employee details, alex at gmail.com and the alex salary is 2500. Let's create the alex record, create. See here we got the alex record is added successfully. Let's add another record and this time the employee name I'm adding is Ben ben at gmail.com and the salary is 4500 create and here we got the ben record is added successfully now let's check in the database also the alex and ben records are added into the employee table or not and here's the employee table let's execute And here we got the new results of this employee table. The Alex and Ben records has been added. That's it. We have implemented the web API to insert and display records into your view page. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. In my previous video, I have showed how to fetch records from database and display records in a view page using web api if you missed my previous video i strongly recommend please watch my video i have shown how to create the web api method and to consume into the mvc controller index view page now in this video i will insert a new records into a database using web api and, and this index.cshtml page contains to display the records from the database using web api now let's open the API controller. The API controller name is EMP details. Now let's add a ISTTP action result to insert the records. Public ISTTP action result. Add EMP. Now in this method, I'm adding my model class name, which is the EMP class. And this EMP class contains the properties, public properties. Let's create an object, insert EMP. Now in this method, I'm adding my connection string entity, which is a new DB entities. ND is an object, new, new DB entities. After that, and the dot the employees the table entity add method and this add method takes a employee entity new employee class is a file is a table name now between the curly braces now let's add the properties emp name is equals to insert dot this object name dot emp name comma email is equals to insert emp dot email comma salary is equals to insert emp dot salary now let's add the save changes method nd dot save changes method after that the last step return okay method that's it we have added the insert functionality in this api controller the controller name of the api which is a emp details now switch to the employee controller in this employee controller i'm adding two action results one for the http get and second one for the http post methods public action action result let's add the create emp now 
return view and this action result the create emp method is a http get and the second one i'm adding http post so i require the same function name action result name now here the action result for http post i'm adding the parameter the class name which is a emp class emp insert an object I'm using the HTTP client to consume the web API. HTTP client class HC is equals to new HTTP client HC dot the base address the web API address is new URI. The URI method takes the parameter string parameter between double quotes. I'm adding this web api url method url link name that's all not here yeah and forward slash the emp details the controller name we have to add semicolon now once we got the web api now let's insert the request variable insert a record is equals to hc dot post as json async the t type i'm adding the emp class the class name which takes two parameters the first one is a string uri which is emp details the web api controller name and the second one is the EMP class value. The EMP class is the model class name. The value we are getting from the EMP insert, the object name. Insert record.wait method. Variable record display is equals to insert record dot result property once the records are inserted successfully i want to redirect to the index view page if record display dot is success status code return a redirect to action the method takes the string as action name between double quotes I want to redirect to the index view page so I'm adding the index the action name which is this one that's it we have consumed the web API into this employee controller now we require the view page of this create EMP before adding the view page to this project we must build the application first build build solution And here we got a message build succeeded let's close this output message box now public action result create EMP select that one right click the mouse add view the view name is create EMP the template I'm choosing create the model class I'm adding the employee click add And here we got the create EMP view page also and we have chosen the create template it's automatically created the the employee name email and salary with a button control now what I'm doing let's copy this one the action link in my previous video I have deleted the create new link from this index page so let's add here this one the label name of the button is create new and this one i'm on the second parameter between double quotes i'm adding create emp action link name in the index page 
that's it we have done the complete coding part now it's time to insert the records using web api google chrome and here we got the final output notice we have added the create new action link let's click that one create new the create emp let's add the employee details new employee details alex at gmail.com and the alex salary is 2500 let's create the alex record create see here we got the alex record is added successfully let's add another record and this time the employee name i'm adding is ben ben at gmail.com and the salary is 4500 create and here we got the band record is added successfully now let's check in the database also the alex and band records are added into the employee table or not and here's the employee table let's execute and here we got the new results of this employee table the alex and band records has been added that's it we have implemented the web API to insert and display records into a view page.